Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an attendance sheet template in a Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful attendance sheet template in Google Sheet. Let me put it in the full screen mode. Just press F11. So here you can see on the left we have month start date. So this is the dynamic thing. Your template will be changed accordingly. So let's put here first October if we want to create for the October 2023. So this is for the October 2023. Now here you can see date is starting from first October. We have here employee IDs and then we have employee names, supervisor names and here we have the present count, leave count and the absent count and these are formula and this is the attendance area wherein you can mark the attendance for the particular employee. For example, for this employee you want to mark present, absent, week off or leave, you can mark that. Accordingly, these numbers will be changed and the top stats also will be changed accordingly. We have present count, total present count in the month, total absent in the month and leave count in the month. Okay. On the top, we have given the day of that particular date. If you will take here, let's say 1st September, you can choose from the calendar also. So let's select here 1st September. So you can see it is Friday, Saturday, then we have this Sunday and then the other days also we have taken it 31 days here because we are taking the September so we have here 1st October also so that if you will select the month which have the 31 days it will be adjusted automatically all right now I will explain you how you can create this from the scratch in Google Sheet so let's start without delay I'm going to add a new worksheet here and we will start creating our template here so let's put here month start date we will enter our month start date here click here on this down arrow to show all other options and make it slightly bigger let's say here i'm putting first september 2023 for now you can format this simply select this cell go to the format and go to the number custom number format and here you can put d dash mmm dash bye 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 apply that and you can see this if you will double click this calendar will be open to select the date all right now we will go to the view and show and uncheck these grid lines okay so grid lines are not visible let's make this slightly bigger and select these two align this center and make the vertical alignment also middle now we can put some background color for this so let's select this background color here and font color let's take white and make it bold and same here we will take the background color this light color this one and make this bold select these two and put a border here so let's select this color already selected and make this outer border all right now we will add our data so we have here employee id employee name and supervisor i'm copying it as it is for now let's copy and paste here as value alt e s and v okay so we have this data here now we will format this data just select this data align this center and now we will add here in the heading present absent and leave and then we will put our start of the month so this is the start of the month simply put equal to and c3 and just hit the enter and here in the next cell we will use this cell plus one so we will get the next date now we can drag this to the right side and we will drag it till the first october okay so we will take the 31 days here but if you will see we have columns here till Z only we will select all and then we will go to the insert and columns and we will insert 26 columns right okay so we have 26 more columns now copy and paste it few more columns up to the first october so we have got the first october here all right we will change the formatting of the date here so we have selected only dates you can see go to the format number and we will go to the custom number format this one and this time we will take d and mmm we don't need the by so we can take this format 
and click on apply all right now we will go to the text rotation rotate up press control and space so all the columns will be selected and make the size slightly smaller let's say this one okay we will select these two columns and make the size slightly smaller let's take this size now we will format the header so let's select the header and we will put some background color let's say i'm putting this blue background or little more darker let's say this one and take the white font so i'm taking let's say this font all right now select this all data till here till all employees and we will apply one border here in some light color so let's say i'm taking this light color and apply this border all borders okay and change the center alignment here and the vertical alignment also let's take this middle all right so our seat is looking like this for p a and l we will change the color p we will take in the green color so let's take this color or let's take little lighter green let's say this one absent we will take the red color so let's take this color and l we will take the blue color little different blue so let's take this one so that it will be differentiated with this one now here in this area wherein we will mark the attendance from 1st september till this range we will select this area using the shift and mouse now we will apply the drop down list okay to do that simply you can right click and you can click on drop down then this data validation rules pan will be opened and here we have already this selection range if it is not selected you can change the selection from here also make sure in the criteria you have selected drop down or you can use the drop down from a range also but here i'm taking simple drop down and we will provide the options here so first option let's say we are providing p for present and the color we are putting this light green color okay and next let's take a for absent and here we will give the red color so let's take this color here add another item and that will be l for leave and we can apply this blue color here add another one uh, which is b cough so we can provide w o and let's keep this gray color okay and click on done let's close this now here we have drop down so we can apply let's say p here but that is not visible so what i will do first i'll select this range again and i'll change the font size slightly smaller i'll take around 8 currently it is 10 here you can see let's take 8 you can see it is visible now so we can mark the attendance here let's say absent let's say leave okay so we can mark the attendance now we will put the formula for present absent and leave and we can go to the view and show the formula bar so that you can see the formula let's use here count if then select this range from g8 till ak8 all right and we will use f4 to freeze this and press again f4 again so we will freeze only columns put the dollar sign before g and before ak comma the criteria we will take here p and we will put the dollar sign before saving because that row number will not be changed okay so press twice f4 and close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting one count here just copy this and select this whole range and paste it okay and you can make the size slightly smaller if i will mark here absent then you can see one count here if i will mark here leave then you can see one count for the leave if i will mark present again then you will see present count is two all right similarly you can mark the attendance now this seat is ready we will put the stats on the top i'll select these three cell then these three bottom cells also and here i'll go to the merge cells and i'll use merge horizontally okay so you can see that is merge now at bottom we will fill some darker color so we will make it for the present so just type here present align this center and we will fill here darker colors green color let's say this one font let's take white this one and make this bold and here we will show the present number so we will fill here light green let's say this one 
and we will use here sum of percent so we can take the sum of this column and just close the bracket and now align this center and middle and increase the size slightly make it slightly bigger and make it bold okay so this is present count you can change the color font color also in green if you want dark green let's say this one let's select these two cells and go to the border and take here dark green color this one and take outer borders it will look like this copy this area and let's paste this here then paste this here okay so this will be for absent and this will be for leave we will change the theme color absent will be for red so let's take here this color and here let's take lighter so let's take this color and font you can take this color all right border also let's change the color this one and outer border similarly for leap we will take the blue theme so let's take this color here and here we will take the lighter one so let's take this one and font also we will take the this one and border also take here this blue color and outer borders all right so this is done now we will change the formula here we will take the sum of absent count this one and just hit the enter here we will take sum of leave count let's say this one and just enter all right if i will change let's say here absent then you can see count is changed here and here also all right we can show the day on the top so that it will be helpful to mark the week off or the attendance so let's use here formula text and select this cell g7 and in the inverted comma put ddd so it will return the day name in sort let's fill write this formula till the end okay till here so we are getting the day name here on the top you can align this center and middle you can put some blue border apply the all borders and fill some background color also this color all right so this is looking good now attendance sheet is ready you can start marking the attendance here you can add more employee if you want and you can apply the same formatting if you want to put the title on the top just insert one row and you can select some area select and you can merge that so let's merge all and you can type here attendance sheet for let's say september or you can make it dynamic also so you can use equal to and you can put the formula for space and use here text function and select this cell comma and put here m m m m four time dash by 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 four so it will show the attendance sheet for september 2023 and align this center and align this middle change the font let's take this one make it bold and bigger background let's take this background font you can take white okay so this is attendance sheet for september 2023 double click and change here for the first october let's say then automatically this title will be changed attendance sheet for the october 2023 and here it is changed so this is all dynamic all right friends so that is how you can create the dynamic attendance sheet in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching